Hello everyone, welcome to a corner of farming in the Philippines. Hope you can hear me okay. It's a, I've got my mask on and it's a little bit windy. Uh, it's 6.15 in the evening so it's just getting dark. Uh, they're closing the store, the Altura store now at 6 p.m. Instead of 8 like they usually do. There's not much going on here anymore. All, almost all the restaurants close now at 7 in the evening. A few of these little bakeries and stuff stay open. Almost all these other businesses are closed. This is that area where they used to sell uh, produce mainly. Uh, mainly fruit, some vegetables. This caught on fire about a week ago and burnt down. I mean, it just burned it all here. As I hear, as the rumor mill says, this is owned by Alturas, but they couldn't evict the people that were here, that were who were renting these shops or whatever. They'd asked them to leave, and they they wouldn't go. So I, you know, I doubt if if they were burned out, but. Uh, they're gone now and as I understand it and I hope so man do I hope so they're gonna turn this into additional parking because there's just no parking here downtown now there's just I mean there's none those there's uh, six spaces right there that's that's basically half the parking for Altera Mall there's maybe another dozen spaces up on top on the other end, on the other end back that way. So for a mall with, I don't know, 50 shops in it and a main grocery store, there's 20 parking spaces. You know, I mean, even if this, <clears throat> if this area right here was a five-story parking garage, there probably still wouldn't be enough parking. But at least it'll be that much more than what they have now, which is just almost zero. I wanted to check here also. I was curious because of the all the lockdown and the quarantine and all the COVID, I was curious if they were still having this outdoor barbecue here in the evening. And it looks like they still are. Yeah, there's many, many fewer stalls that are open. In fact, it only looks like there's two. There's usually about a dozen in here that are cooking and selling, but it looks like there's only two now. So they may, I don't know, they may end up closing all this down too. I'm just not sure. There used to be two places right here that were cooking, this place. Good evening, how are you? Fine, you? How's business? Is business okay? It's good. It's normal? Is there any news? I mean, are, are they going to keep this open in the future? I mean, is this open? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope so. Yeah, there used to be another... Another two places right here that we're cooking, so that's four that are gone. And there was an additional, probably four right there. So that's eight, eight out of ten, I guess, that are that are gone now. I don't know. Maybe they, they maybe they just shut themselves down. That that operator there says, there's, you know, I guess there's no restrictions. This is the one that we always ate at. They have really good food. Uh, the ambiance here is great. I love this area. I love to eat here in the evening. The ocean is back that way about 75 yards. And a nice ocean breeze right coming into your face. It's cool here, it's open. The folks are nice. Everyone gets here and congregates and eats, which is probably not the best idea right at the moment. And as you can see, there's not hardly anyone here now. There, you know, there's often a hundred people eating here in the evening. 
And it's still a little bit early. Maybe that's maybe that's got something to do with it too. It's just, maybe it's just not time. But it would be a shame if this was one more thing that was just a memory because of uh, this virus going around. Well, that's what I wanted to check. The Angel Burgers is still open. These two little bakeries over here are still open. So more or less in Taliban, things are kind of going along as normal, other than everyone is closing down earlier in the evening. There is a curfew. There's an 8 p.m. curfew now. Uh, that there didn't used to be. So um, maybe that has something to do with the, the lack of patronage. In, in months and years past, at 6.30 in the evening, this was still just a pack in here with people and cars and traffic. On the way in tonight, there was very little. And as we understand it, today is Tuesday. After, after Thursday, there's, uh, the tricycles are no longer going to be allowed Period. I mean, technically, they're not supposed to be on the national highway as it is, but they still drive on the national highway like there's no rule. But as I understand it now, the municipality here is canceling all their licenses tempor temporarily because I guess the reasoning behind that is that just carrying people around on tricycles is very easy to to transmit the virus. That's the only logical explanation I can think of. So there's probably going to be, I don't know, a thousand tricycle drivers out of work. And if you don't have a motorcycle or a car, you don't have any way to get around. Something else that's, you know, another inconvenience due to this virus. Times are changing. Well, alrighty, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.